This is a supplemental introductory lecture for Plato. Uh, I remembered I forgot to talk about Greek religion and I didn't want to re-record the original lecture. So uh, just a quick overview of Greek religion at the time. So the Greeks were mostly polytheists. So they worshiped a bunch of different gods. We can see some of them here or people like, uh, or gods like Zeus, Athena, Hera, others. Hera may be a Roman name or one of the Greek gods, uh, but Hermes, uh, Poseidon. Uh, so lots of gods uh, that they worshipped. Uh, religious worship was very important to public life, including to public life in Athens. So there were many temples to various gods and statues to various gods and priests uh, to various gods who were all sort of important to the city. Um, there were festivals dedicated to gods and so on and so forth. Uh, oracles of gods. There's the Oracle of Apollo, who shows up, I think, in uh, the Apology at one point. And so piety was important to uh, the Greeks quite a bit. Uh, Plato was actually not a polytheist. Plato, Plato was a monotheist. He thought there was only one god. This isn't really going to come up much in any of the readings, except it's sort of in the background of the symposium, it's interesting to think about Plato as a monotheist, so keep that in the back of your head. Uh, but sort of in terms of piety being very important to the Greeks, this will come up in the Euthyphro, where piety is sort of the central issue at discussion, and then uh, piety and just religion more broadly will come up quite a bit in the Apology when we look at what Socrates is being charged with. And uh, so just to, well, yeah, I guess that's that's enough. The end.